All right, I'm going to share this to the group. <clears throat> so, uh, we're live, guys. Welcome to Live Love and Hope Live. And we're going to talk about today five ways to cleanse your mindset. So, mm-hmm. let's just wait for some viewers to arrive and we'll start. You will get a chance to win our free t shirts today. Yes, guys. So, please do not be shy to comment below your name. And if you have any questions, please feel free to participate, ask questions, ask away. And yeah, we will be having some trivia questions and people who'd be able to answer the questions will be able to have a chance to win with these t-shirts. Comment below, guys. I, right now, we have three people on board. Let us know your names, guys. Let us know you're here. Uh, we have been doing this live since kanina. I think we had two or three attempts. Pero nawawala kami for some reason. We're not sure if there's any technical issue right now going on. But uh, please, please, please let us know if you can hear us clearly. Mag-comment kayo below kung may issue ba sa end nyo or what. Let us know. Kasi kanina, I think we were almost halfway halfway through the topic tapos nalaman namin na disconnect pala kami so funny epic oh, <laughs> really yeah. really happens <laughs> now we have seven yeah and um, we have six people six hi ilona thank you for watching please stay tuned kasi may ano tayo, trivia questions and you can win a uh, free lupus t-shirt so, Lupus T-shirts are sponsored by Leave Love and Hope and a generous member na nag-cover yeah. ng T-shirt na yan. So, keep watching guys. Stay stay with us. So, we now have 8 people. So, mag-10 lang tayo guys. Mag-start tayo agad. Invite your co-members here guys. 9. So, one more guys. One more. Hello, Bonaje. Happy Father's Day to your dad or... And by the way, guys, happy Father's Day nga pala sa mga tatay na co-lupus patients natin. Um, sa lahat ng mga, sa mga tatay ninyo, of course, at sa mga inang nagpapakatatay din. So, acknowledge natin yung mga single parents natin dito. So, we commend you for doing a difficult job. It's For me, parenting is really a difficult career. But it's the most fulfilling career in life. So, take it from a mother. But, you know, I don't know the struggles of fathers. Pero, happy Father's Day pa rin sa inyong lahat. So, girl, 12 na tayo. I guess we can start. Hi, Twinkle. Hi, Joy. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, guys, to our live talk today. So, our topic is five ways to cleanse your mindset. So, yeah, and so, know, yep. So, iba ang sitwasyon natin ngayon. And we have been receiving a lot of inquiries telling top kung tal- normal ba sa atin ang mag- pagiging moody or somehow pagiging malungkot So, yun. So, today ito, i-address namin yun sa inyo. So, let's see ano ba i-discuss namin. Okay. So, kasama sa ating discussion today ay ang mga Miss uh, Leonard. Please yes. do the honors with the slides. <laughs> yeah. So, Sabi dito, your life is as good as your mindset. So, sabi nila, the most powerful thing that we have is our mind. So, the way we attract things, the way we think, uh, it will happen to us. So, paano nga ba natin cleanse yung mindset natin to have that good life that we all desire? So, today, our topics will be... Chronic um, illness and mental health. We will also cover what causes mental illness and yung ways how to cleanse our mindset. So, yan. So, very timely, guys, ang topic na to. Please stay tuned. Keep watching kasi, trust me, you're gonna love this. Talagang kailangan natin to sa panahon ngayon. Yeah. So, una, al- una sa lahat, alamin muna natin bakit yung chronic illness at mental health ay actually related sa isa't isa. So, sabi sa, ibang stu- sa isang study, uh, cancer patients found that one in five of, uh, of them develop PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. 
after their diagnosis. So, uh, ang rate nga to ay similar sa atin with a chronic illness, which is 15 to 35 percent. So, bakit nga ba? Bakit ba yung may mga chronic illness ay nagkakaroon ng mental health issues? So, sabi dyan, it is said that people battling chronic pain or illnesses are twice likely to battle mental health issues. That is because when eh, whenever any health condition causes widespread inflammation, eh, nag-raise ng risk ng depression because yung brain natin, nagkakaroon ng inflammation din because of this widespread inflammation. Bakit ba ganon? Uh, kapag inflame yung brain natin, nagiging haywired yung kanya system at nag, yung mga hormones na kinokontrol niya na dapat ilabas ng katawan natin at mag-contribute na sa development to our mood or to our body is affected. So, that's the reason why a depression can be developed once your brain is actually inflamed. Do you have any additional information about this, Misha? Yes. Um, so basically, um, just to support what you said, so tandaan natin na every time may flare tayo, expect inflammation on almost every part of your body and always um, consider that our brain also goes through inflammation. Ngayon, kapag inflamed siya, gaya ng sabi ni Miss Leonard kanina, nagkakaroon ng haywire. So, kung hindi kayo familiar sa word na haywire, in layman's term, pag sinamit yung haywire is chaos, kaguluhan. So, nagkakaroon ng gulo sa loob ng brain natin. So, kapag nangyari yun, so, nagkakaroon talaga ng mga um, hormones na na natitrigger na nagkakos ng ating mga depression or may mga hormones na hindi nare-release and every time na susupress sila, nagtitrigger niya ng mga depression. Yung mga biglang mood swing din natin, isa din yan sa mga epekto noon. So, tandaan natin, pag nagsusumpong, nag-flare, may inflammation tayo, inflammation sa brain, nangyayari talaga yung feeling na nadidepress tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng anxiety. And mind you guys, lahat yung buong katawan natin, gumagalaw yan, gumagana siya dahil sa ating brain. That's the reason why the brain was positioned at the very top of our body. Kasi siya yung pinaka-control, siya yung command center ng buong katawan natin. Okay? That's true. So, aside from that reason, may iba't iba pa tayong klase ng dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng mental health issues with a chronically ill patient. So, that's what we're going to discuss next. So, here are the top three reasons kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng mental health issues. So, number one is chemical or hormone imbalance. As per discussed earlier, uh, nagiging haywire nga yung brain cells natin. And they are causing imbalance with the hormone. So, aside from being inflamed at nagkakaroon ng imbalance dahil sa inflammation, it's also because of the chemicals na pinapasok natin sa katawan natin. This can be from food or from, from medications that we're taking. So, the next one is trauma and physical injuries. Mm-hmm. So, kanina nga, when we were discussing, we're trying to attempt to go live, uh, na kwento ko nga kay Miss Sharon, yung girl from Australia na mayroong 1,000 personalities. So, di, kasi mayroon siyang abuser and she used her uh, 1,000 personalities to protect her from that. So, with this, uh, yung trauma and physical injuries, for us sa may mga sakit na chronic pain uh, cr- or chronic illness, uh, syempre pag nagsabay yung pain plus emotion, uh, our body, our physical conditions, nagpokos ng high blood sugar levels. And yung high blood sugar levels na yun, nadidisrupt ngayon yung circulation ng blood sa utak natin. That may result in depression or anxiety in the later, later part of our disease. And lastly, is the changes of the environment. As um, as you can see right now, biglaan na change yung dati nating normal to a new normal because of the, pan- the pandemic. Um, I have heard one of my friend writer na uh, focus niya kasi is about depression stage. And that is from World War II. So, if your parents are from World War II, this kind of situation is very triggering for them. Okay, sis, sorry. Sorry to cut you off. Um, I think your audio daw is mahina. 
Sabi nila, oh, mahina Hello? daw sis. Hello? Ayan. Guys, is it is it better? Ma- malakas na ba yung audio ni Miss Leonard? Hello? Okay na guys. Please comment. Let us know. Malinaw na ba? Hindi pa. I can hear you. I can hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, let's wait for them to comment if okay na yung ano. Yung sound. Guys, let us know kung okay na yung audio ni Leonard para we can proceed. Mahina? Mahina pa rin daw. Um, pwedeng ano, i- islant mo yung microphone mo sis. Yung parang sa akin, oh, nakaslant yung bar. Islant mo siya. Yan. Try it. Hello? Hello? Mas, mal- mas malakas na ba? Malakas na ba? Hello? Lawrence, kaninong audio yung mahina? Kay Leonard or akin? Mahina. mahina. Mah- okay naman daw kasi mahina. Malinaw. Oh. Malinaw, malinaw pero mahina. Okay, hello? Mahina daw talaga eh. Okay, Naka- well, well, let me try. Let me try. Hello? Ayan, mas malakas na. Okay na ba yan guys? Okay, okay. Ano na detect? Ah, <laughs> uh, mahina pa rin ba? <clears throat> mahina do girl. Hello. This time. Yeah, I, well, yeah, malakas. <laughs> yeah, malakas ito. Malakas. Na. Thank you, Ilona. Okay. So, um, so, saan saan yo saan kayo na confused or hindi na cash up because mahina yung sound? Yeah, I think I think okay naman, malinaw naman. It's just that mahina yung volume kanina. So Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sige. Um, yeah, let me go back to changes of environment. So, yeah, <laughs> sa change of environment, as I have said earlier, I have a friend na writer siya about depression. Um that is from World War II, from our senior citizens na galing pa on that period from World War II, this kind of situation right now is triggering for them. Well, some others naman, nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na quarantine stress or quarantine exhaustion that can also result to anxiety and depression. Then, to us, na mga patient, uh, you know, biglang sudden change eh. Once the doctor said, oh, you have to go to self-sep, you shouldn't be exposing yourself to anybody else. Nakakabigla yung changes tayo, right, Misha? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You, from the old lifestyle you have, you have to change into someone that stays at home. Dati ka nag-work, dati kang palalabas with friends. And staying at home is a very difficult change to right away uh, accept, di ba? True. Um, actually, may isa share a kwento sa inyo. Although hindi naman siya talaga totally related about um severe mental health um result from the s- sudden change. But I have a personal perfect example for that as we go through the changes in the environment later on. All right. So let me proceed next. So. Yun nga, um, earlier I have mentioned to you, wedding ke- chemical can be from, coming from food or medicines. So I will be discussing to you guys yung medicine na meron tayo that can actually arise yung chronic mental illness. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so here are the list of medicines that may cause depression or anxiety. So the first one is beta blockers. So beta blockers are used to manage the hypertension to someone that has chronic illness. So if you have this medication, guys, that you can see on the screen, please comment it down below. We would like to hear kung pare-parehas ba tayo ng gamot. May take, no? So the next one is statin. Statin are medications used to maintain cholesterol uh, levels in our blood. Um, kasi pag mataas ang cholesterol level mo, it's not just your heart that is affected, but also your kidneys. So, statin is one of those uh, medications. Next is, 
what's that? Opioids? Uh, these yes. are the, the pain relievers. Pain relievers or pain management medications. Um, who among you have this? I do. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> So, ang pinaka ang pinaka common yan, guys. Actually, pinagjojokan din namin kanina ni Leonard yung tungkol sa opioids na to. The most common example that I think majority of us are using is tramadol. So, tramadol, guys, is paracetamol with induced uh, morphine. So, di ba pag may pain tayo, lalo pag na-hospital tayo, tramadol yung binibigay nila sa atin. So, kinukwento ko nga sa kanya kanina. Um, between tramadol na tablet and injectable, mas gusto ko yung injectable. Why? Kasi mabilis yung uh, relief niya sa pain ko. Ang side effect lang talaga is na high talaga ako. Like literally, pagkatusok sa akin ng gamot, parang <laughs> alam ko talaga, no, I have to sleep, I have to lie down. Kasi yung paligid ko, parang feeling ko nakalutang, feeling ko nakalutang ako. Parang ganun, high na high ako na, okay, so... Again, it's because of the morphine. So, kung aabusuhin mo yung morphine, guys, ito yung nagiging ano siya, um, prohibited drug siya. Kaya ang morphine is regulated lang yan. But can you tell us more about the opioids, Miss Leonard? Paano siya naka-affect sa ating mental health? Uh, yeah. Um, sabi kasi ang opioids before, when you firstly take it, it's, it's resulting to euphoria or pagkahay, di ba? But then, pag matagal mo itong ginagamit, it can also result to anxiety of depression because of the effects na ginagawa nito sa dopamine level ng ating katawan or hormone yan from our body that is affected by opioids. So, that's the reason why you're developing anxiety or depression. So, yun. So far, in my experience, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh, nakaka-ano siya, context. Kasi I was taking the tablet naman. Pero mas mataas sa level because of the pain I am experiencing dun sa hips ko. And kapag tuloy-tuloy yung araw na ginagamit siya, medyo parang you, you feel down. So, yun. Medyo paisip-isip pa rin na kung ano-ano lumilipad. So, let's move on. Next to anticonvulsants. So, these are medications that used to treat seizures or epilepsy. Then fibromyalgia and neuropathy. Um, anyone taking this or you, Ms. Sharon, do you have any experience with this medication? Uh, personal consumption of anticonvulsants, hindi pa. But um, these anticonvulsants, guys, are basically medicines na binibigay sa mga patient kapag nagkakaroon ng seizure. Usually, ito yung mga naka-inpatient sa hospital kapag naka-admit, nagka-seizure sila. Para siyang ano eh, para siyang um, relaxing medication siya para yung hyper hyperactivity level ng katawan nila magle-lessen siya, mag magka-calm, parang bar, parang slightly barbiturate effect siya para kumalma. Okay? Pag alam niyo pag nagko-convulsion tayo, pag sobrang fever natin, nagko-convulsion tayo, yung muscle natin gumagalaw involuntarily, ganyan. Um, yung ginagawa ng mga anticonvulsants is pinaparelax niya yon yung sistema mo para ma-regulate ulit yung yung processes yung systems na nangyayari sa loob ng katawan mo so yun yun I don't have a personal experience of taking anticonvulsants so and so as Leonard here so if you guys have taken anticonvulsants before please drop the name of the anticonvulsant medications sa baba Four times a day. Star Shen said, I take anticonvulsant four times a day. Can you tell us more wow. about how you feel whenever you're taking this medication, Star? Ano yung mga nararamdaman mo exactly kapag nagtatake ka ng anticonvulsants? And so far, kamusta ka naman sa gamot na yan? Para lang ma-share din natin sa ating mga members dito. Kasi just in case, you know, um, Time, time will tell, di ba? Kung sakasakaling dumating yung point na uh, mabigyan tayo ng ganyang gamot, at least we know what are the things to expect. And makapag-research din yung iba sa atin. Lyrica. Lyrica. Ah, okay. So, Star is taking Lyrica. Are you still taking that until now, Star? Marcela, prednisone. We will get into that, actually. Kasama yan. Kasama yung prednisone. Kasama siya. <laughs> kasama siya. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for Star to share her experience about taking Lyrica four times a day, mind you guys, it's four times a day. Um, we can we can go to the next type of medication if you want, Miss Leonard. Yeah, our next uh, miracle medicine that we call here with the Lupus Society, guys, no other than corticosteroids. So, <laughs> yun, I am using Medrol at the moment. So, yan, maaaring some of us nagpalipat-lipat na ng klase ng corticosteroids. So, alam naman natin, corticosteroids is um, anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory medication, yes. And it, parang pinatitigil niya yung aggression or pinababagal niya yung aggression ng pag-scar or pagsira ng ating organs inside. That's the benefit of this medication. Sabi Correct. nga nila, it takes away all the pain. But you suffer first, okay? Correct. Correct. So, so yung pinaka yeah. sikat niyan, guys, is yun nga, yung prednison, methyl prednisolone, uh, medrol, yan. Yan yung mga pinaka sikat na alam nating pinag-iinom natin dito. So, lahat tayo, alam ko, may mga kanya-kanya tayong um, napansin mula nung nag-take tayo ng mga corticosteroids. May pagbabago sa behavior natin. Madali tayo mag-mood swing. Ako, yeah. ako, ako personally, mataray talaga ako. As in, yung asawa ko, natataray ako talaga siya madalas. Yung tipong madali akong mainis. Yan. Ever since I started the prednisone, madali na ako mainis, mairita. Yung unting ingay, naiinis na ako agad. Ganyan. So, effect siya. <laughs> effect siya. So, huwag kayo guys magtaka kung bakit parang naging moody kayo. Kasi, again, yung medications that we take natin has something to do with it, with, with it, rather. But, Leonard, can you let us know exactly ano ba yung ginagawa ng corticosteroids? Bakit? Dahil nagbabago. <laughs> Bigla. Oh, so, ayun. Um, ang ating corticosteroids, naapektuhan niya yung serotonin ng ating body. Mm -hmm. So, that is also the reason why you cannot stop corticosteroids right away. Kasi maliban sa serotonin na tinataas niya sa katawan natin, uh, it is providing synthetic cortisol or stress hormone sa katawan natin. So let's say nasa mataas ka na ang corticosteroids at the moment. And then bigla mo siyang hininto. Let's say you're 60 mg. Tapos bigla mo siyang hininto. Your body is like on a body shock na bigla ka na wala ng source ng uh, stress hormone. If you will see, kapag nagpapahinga tayo, Light, lightly, di ba, gumagaan yung pakiramdam natin once yeah. we're done from doing physical stress or any stress na ginawa natin. Dahan-dahan siya. So, kung ikaw na umiinom ng prednisone, tas bigla mo inalis, you're like expecting a magic rest in your body, which is very, very bad. And the effect of that one in your brain is very different. Yung, kasi if you go into a CT scan of your brain, may certain colors dyan na lumalabas, di ba? Yes. So, when your brain has imbalances on your hormones, iba yung kulay niya kapag bigla mo i-stop yung prednison. And that's mm. the reason why you shouldn't stop. So, doon po sa mga nagbabalak, mga sumaway, please lang, wag na. <laughs> wag nang it pasaway. May, yeah, it may result to a more complicated life. Mas mahirap yon, di ba? True. So, next is the stimulant. So, this one alters the dopamine level in our body. So, the stimulants, ginagamit sila dun sa may mga attention deficit or somehow yung mga hyperactive ng attention. So, they use stimulants to heighten yung focus ng isang tao. Yan. Um, examples niya mga yan, mga um, concerta, ganyan. Although, yun nga, um, ginagamit siya to, actually, iba-ibang use niya eh. Meron namang um, stimulants, ginagamit siya sa mga patients na very low level din ang activity. Kasi stimulants kasi is uppers yan eh. Kapag sa mga prohibited drugs, ang tawag sa kanila uppers. Pampagana, pampa-energy, pampa-stimulate, pampa pampalakas. However, minsan, ginagamit din ang, ang mga stimulants in reverse sa effects ng kunyara ADHD. Kasi usually, yung mga taong may ADHD, sila yung mga hirap mag-focus sa isang bagay. Kunyari, kunyari lang ha, kami ni Leonard. Kausap ako ni Leonard. Ako yung may ADHD. 
kinakausap ako ni Leonard, pero yung attention ko nasa ibang bagay. Hindi lang isa, kundi maraming bagay. Yung tinitingnan ko, yung iniisip ko. So si Leonard, kwento siya ng kwento sa akin, pero ako, nasa kawalan yung isip ko. So pag binibigyan nila ng stimulant yung mga ADHD patients, ang, nag- ang nangyayari is, nagiging mas focused sila. Nagiging kalmado sila. So, mas nagiging um, oriented sila. Ganun yung nangyayari. So, if any one of you guys have tried taking stimulants or know someone who's taking stimulants, regardless kung ano yung condition, let us know below. Please leave a comment para we can also do our research and, you know, uh, find more information that could benefit every one of us here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, yeah. So, let's... So fun. I think this is ano na eh, surprise. Tama ba? <laughs> I think. Okay guys. So, dito tayo magkakaalaman. Meron Uh-oh. tayo trivia question. So, ang question na, so by the way, ang question na to guys, ang unang makasagot ng tama, bibigyan namin ng isang free t-shirt. Yung lupus shirt na sponsored ng Live, Love, and Hope and ng isang generous sponsor natin from that community. Okay? So, Miss Leonard, ano nga ba ang ating question? Dun, 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 dun. May drum roll talaga, gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> Dali lang, wala siya. <laughs> Alo ka. Dun, dun. <laughs> Ayan. So, guys, question number one. What causes mental illness to chronically ill patients. So, what causes mental illness daw to chronically ill patients? May clue kami. Tatlo yun. May tatlo tayong bagay na pinag-usapan kanina. Oo, pero you have to answer it with a proper uh-huh. for- format. Oo, so, may proper um, format. format natin is <laughs> LSGPH underscore answers. So, Under- Yes. I, ano guys, i-comment ko guys yung format ha. So again, LSGPH underscore tapos yung answer. Answer or answers. Kasi ito, question number one kasi is tatlo. Okay, uh, we, oh got, we got the answer pero we, uh, may instruction tayo guys. Oo, may Follow instruction the tayo guys. <laughs> <laughs> Na-excite ako bigla. <laughs> follow the instructions. Sir, tama yung sagot. Pero follow the tama instructions. Y- oh, tama yung sagot. Pero yung format. Ayan. Pabilisan <laughs> 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 mag-type. Go! <laughs> Para akong nagkaroon ng daga sa dibdib. <laughs> tama yung sagot. Format lang. Format Ayan, lang guys. yun. Kinoment, Ayan. Kino- Ayan. Ayan. Congrats. Okay. Congrats. Uh, stars. Si stars. Si Star. Si Sam. Si ano to? Si Sam. Si Sam Shanto. Siya yung nagpakilala siya. Sabi niya. Si Sam to. Like, oh my God. Sabi ko pala yan. <laughs> okay, so, so, Sam. Congratulations. Send, yeah. Congratulations. And then, just send a message dun sa page ni Live, Love, and Hope. Just uh-huh. say hi. Then, I will message you kung paano makiklaim yung shirt. Uh-huh. Ayan. Ayan. So, may dalawa pa tayong t-shirt, guys. Don't worry. Okay? May dalawa so, pa, guys. Kalma let's lang. Continue. Kalma let's lang. continue. Kalma lang. Kalma lang. Stay Alam ko naman mga competitive yung mga tao dito. <laughs> Yan. Okay, right. so let's proceed. What's next, okay. Miss Leonard? So now, let's proceed. Paano? Sabi ko ka kanina, our mindset has a great control. It is the most powerful thing that we have. So, ngayon, tuturuan na namin kayo or ng five ways to actually cleanse your mindset. So, yep. let's start with number one. I'll do number Oops. one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun. So, yeah, Five ways to cleanse your mindset daw. So, sabi dyan, kali lang. Ipad natin. Yeah. Sabi dyan, so battling chronic illness kasi daw is somehow nakakapagod because you are battling with your emotion, you are battling with your pain, you are battling with the misunderstanding of your family. And ang talaga nakakapagod doon is how you will keep up to this issues, eh, to these problems that you're facing right now. And alam mo yun, when you say kalaban mo yung isip mo, it is the most struggling situation that you can have. Sabi nga ng friend ko who is actually suffering uh, anxiety too, ang hirap kalaban ng sarili mong utak. 
And I mean, it's not me. It's not just me. It's not just Sharon. It's not just anyone nararamdaman to, but all of us, di ba? So, yun. So, that is why we decided to create this topic for all of you guys para ma... Alam mo, at least we really uh, mapagaan lang natin ng konti yung nararamdaman nating uh, toxicity ng emotions natin, ng ating mindset. So, number one is exercise. Ayan. Masasabi so, mo, Misha. Ay, ang dami, Char. Okay, <laughs> so ako, I am a personal believer of um, exercise being one of the best ways to cleanse your mindset. Ako, personally, guys, I've been working out. Um, ever since I was diagnosed, I've been working out. Siyempre, nagsimula ako sa simpleng exercise lang. Simpleng exercise like walking, ganyan, simple cardio. Kung may favorite sports kayo like swimming, tennis, or basketball, or even Zumba, guys. That's the, e- for me, ha, that's the easiest yet fun form of cardio. So, pag sinabi kasing workout, it doesn't really have to be uh, lifting Heavy. weights. Like the dumbbells, yeah. the kettlebells, doing uh, plyometrics, doing um, high-intensity interval training. In the, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Exercise kasi, guys, as long as you're trying to be active physically. Like, again, guys, nang sabi ko, simple walking, simple jog in place, simple skipping ropes. Yung mga yan, that's a form of exercise. It's very important. Why? Kasi when you're exercising, yung body nyo, yung brain nyo, nagpaproduce siya ng special hormones called endorphins. Take note of this word, guys. <laughs> endorphins. Endorphins, um, layman's term, ang tinatawag natin dyan is happy hormones. When you're working out, you're producing endorphins. And when you're producing endorphins, you feel better you feel happier. Not necessarily happy na tatawa ka ng tatawa, ha? It's just that you feel better, you will feel lighter. Okay? Mas gagaan yung pakiramdam nyo whenever nag-exercise kayo kasi nire-release nyo yung tension nyo na nasa loob ng katawan nyo. Tapos, it really has this psychological effect, guys. Like, ako ginagawa ko pag sobrang stressed ako sa trabaho, lalo na from Mondays to Wednesday, sobrang yung yung noo ko nakaganon talaga yan. Nakasalubong talaga yung kilay ko. Kasi grabe yung stress ko sa work. Pero every after shift, nag-work out talaga ako on a regular. Pag nag-work out ako, napapagod yung katawan ko physically, yes. Kasi depende yan sa level ng workout na ginagawa nyo. Pero yung mind ko, par- literal, nag- nag- nagiging clear siya. So, yung mga problema ko sa work, after ko mag-workout, nasasolusyonan ko siya. Kasi nakapag-release ng tension yung utak ko, guys. So, I really encourage you guys to try it. Again, sabi ko, hindi kailangan mag-powerlifting kayo agad. If you're a beginner in exercising, please choose the most simple exercise. And if you want something fun na ina-exercise nyo, do Zumba. Marami naman kayo makita online na free Zumba. Wag, nyong, wag, wag kayong mag ha. Ito, pag mag-exercise kayo, I don't want you to think about losing weight right away. That should not be your priority. Your priority is to distress. Okay? To distress and to keep your body active. That's it. Because if you're working out for the wrong reason, I'm not saying that losing weight is a wrong reason. No, of course not. Don't quote, don't don't get me wrong, ha. When you work out kasi, ang for us lupus patients, ang priority natin dapat is to distress because we need to keep our mental health intact. Okay? Yun dapat ang priority natin. Distress to keep our body active, yung losing weight, ano na lang yan eh, bonus na lang siya. Ako personally, yung pag-workout ko is not to lose weight, but it's more of distressing and to keep my body active. That's it. Pag nag ako ng weight, pag nag yung katawan ko, bonus ko na lang yon. Pero hindi talaga yung priority ko. So, it's very important na tama yung, <laughs> yung purpose natin kung bakit natin ginagawa yung isang bagay. Okay? So, kung yeah. gusto nyo, um, after... Yes. yes. Yeah. We have a question here na yung paglilinis daw ba ng bahay is pwede na rin. Um, yes. There's, actu- there's actually a study, no? Uh, ang sabi kasi is releasing the tension when you're doing exercise. But when you're doing house chores, you're using or intensing your muscles. 
Oh, ibig sabihin na tinitension mo siya. You're, kasi we have this uh, subconscious and conscious na mind natin, di ba? Um, when you do the subconscious, kahit sabi mong gumagalaw ka siya na naglilinis ka lang, what you're doing is actually you're still thinking. Your subconscious mind is still thinking and therefore you're still stressing out your muscles. So that's the reason the exercise is separate from doing those tasks na... Simple, you thought it's an exercise, exercise, pero hindi siya talaga exercise na matatawag kasi you're still stressing out your mind when you're doing I, the, cl- the cleaning, something like that. It's more about releasing the tension of your body. Kasi. I think um, I have I have another thought on that kasi hmm. um, that's actually a good point. Kasi nga, kasi hindi mo man siya napapansin pero iniisip mo pa rin technically kung technically, paano ka yeah. magwawalis saan ka magwawalis paano mo siya iwawalis yung mga ganon pero kasi meron din kasing activity where, kasi when you're working out you're still tension you're, you're still tensing your muscles mm. yun yan eh when you're working out you're still putting up technically you're putting tension you're pressuring your muscles and when it when, when it is pressured it adapts kaya nagkakaroon ng toning ang muscle pero I think Yung mga ibang questions dito kung ang paglilinis do ay form ng exercise. Example lang nga, example. Alam mo yung pag-scrub ng floor sis, yung gamit, yung bunot. Alam niyo ba yung bunot, guys? Baka yung mga millennial dito, hindi niyo na alam. Kasi kami, narana ako, naranasan ko yun, bunot. Yung coconut husk na pinang, <laughs> na ini-scrub sa floor para kumintab. Naranasan mo ba yun? Hindi. <laughs> Malalaman ah, yun po, Char. <laughs> grabe. A- a- ako, alam alam na nila. Okay, so, oh guys, matanda na ako guys. So, basta, yun na yun. <laughs> Kasi yung, yung, ano, yung scrubbing na yun, yung bunot na yun, pag nilalagay mo siya sa pamo, ini-scrub-scrub mo siya. It's a leg workout actually. And it's still a form of cardio. Pero, tama din ang sinabi ni Miss Leonard na subconsciously, iniisip mo, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And yung fact na nag ka pa rin, it's still a stressor. So, kung gusto mo talaga mag-exercise, yung hindi ka nag talaga na forward, back, left, or right, yung mga ganyan, try meditation. Yung mga yoga. Kasi stretching, stretching lang yan eh. Makikinig ka lang. Okay, down dog. Stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Hindi ka na nag kasi technically, fina-follow mo lang yung instruction. And it's really not that stressful. Unlike nung naglalaba ka, na nagsasampay ka, nag-iron ka and all that. Okay? So, ano yung next question dito? Al- Ayan, alam doon ni Sam yung bunot. <laughs> <laughs> alam nila. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you guys. So, so baka yung iba dito, kaidaran ko lang. Or baka mas matanda ako, pero at least, di ba? Guys, thank you for affirming na <laughs> hindi ako nag-iisa <laughs> na gumamit ng bunot. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> So, yun nga. Yeah. In addition na, um, the 15 minutes walk or run, hindi naman kasi kailangan natin mag-exercise. Like, yun nga, yeah, sabi ni Misha, the lifting and other stuff. The other day, actually ako, I'm just trying to transition myself to Zumba. Kaso, two minutes pa lang, hindi, hindi kaya ng katawan ko. So, kung hinihingal ka, kasi I, I see kanina may nagsabi na hinihingal siya ba nage, mm-hmm. pag nage-exercise. It's normal, guys. It takes time for you to dance a 30 minutes Zumba. It takes time mm-hmm. for you to weight lift heavier materials. So, normal yun. So, a 15 minutes walk is enough to, to actually release yung ano, major depression. Punta ka lang sa labas ng bahay mo. May garahe kayo. Doon ka lang kayo maglakad-lakad. Paikot-ikot. Paikot-ikot. Sa loob ng bahay. Paikot-ikot na sa salas. Ganun. Okay naman. And, isa na yung isang exercise na pwede natin gawin at home. True. And so, guys, r- r- remind ko lang ha. So, lalo na kung first timer kayo mag-exercise, huwag niyong i-pressure yung sarili niyo. Wag. Okay? Wag na wag. Hindi, hindi porket, eh bakit si, bakit si Mishan nagawa niya to? 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, pero kayo, <laughs> hinihingal kayo. It's not good guys, okay? Basta, ako ha, pag nagko-coach ako ng mga kaibigan ko na mag-workout, ang sinasabi ko lagi is, gawin mo lang kung ano yung kaya mo. Huwag mong stress yung sarili mo. Kasi eventually, darating ka rin doon. It's just that, hindi ngayon. Kasi nagsisimula ka pa lang. So, kung 5 minutes lang kaya mo, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 
Huwag ka na maimbierna. Be proud of yourself kasi may nagawa ka. Okay? Yeah, that's true. At actually, Misha, natatawa ko sa comment. Hindi, ano, I don't know how to do this eh. Sabi dito, magtasa, magtasa ng bunod. I, I thought kasi yung tinatasize yung ano lang, pencil. So, yun. Uh, how, do you, how do you do that, guys? <laughs> I want to I want to if I want to if it's the same thing with you guys kasi ako I'm from Zamboanga City so baka iba yung ginagawa namin sa ginagawa niyo kasi pag sinabi mo mag, magtasa ng bunot um di ba ako kana task yan di ba pag hinati yon yung isang side doon yun yung pinang ginagamit na bunot tas medyo fibrous na yung dulo noon yung paikot niya so yun yung pinang papalish na floor ngayon yung fibrous part na yon may mga na na-attach na mga dumi doon yung mga kung ano yung dumi oh. floor, so nadidikit siya. So, pag binrush mo siya ulit sa floor, hindi na siya, kumbaga, kumbaga, hindi na siya matuli. So, hindi na siya um, good for polishing. So, ang ginagawa namin, tinatanggal namin yung mga dumi na nakadikit doon. So, para, kumbaga, para tumulis siya ulit. Parang ganun. Para mas maging effective siya ulit na pang polish. Ganun. Yeah, so, I, I don't know kung paano nila ginagawa yung kanila. Pero, yun yung, yun yung ginagawa namin. Nakakatuwa, no? Tapos, yun, um, yung iba di, uh, I saw someone also na discuss na yung Tagalog and English version. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sorry, Tagalog and Visayan version of that. Tapos, meron sa atin nagsabi, uh, kapag nagdala ka siya, hinihingal, as again, mm-hmm. be forgiving to yourself, dahan-dahan lang. Dahan-dahan mm-hmm. tayo. Hinahinay. Kasi in time, na consistent siya ginagawa, uh-uh. magiging okay ka. Just, True. ano, I think you have to schedule your ano lang siguro yung time for that Correct. no. And Para... yung, yung ano kasi guys, yung endurance, ang tinatawag nating endurance, ito yung capability natin gawin ang isang bagay ng mas matagal. Sa simula talagang endurance natin mahina, mababa. Pero habang nasasanay ka na ginagawa mo siya, kunyari 15 minute walk mo, magiging 1 hour yan, magiging 2 hours yan. Talagang magi-improve yan over time. Okay? Basta wag kayo magmadali. Kung ano yung kaya nyo, be proud of it. Huwag kayo parang, kakabadip naman, 15 minutes lang. Wala naman ako binurn. Wala, hindi siya wala kayong binurn. May binurn kayo. Huwag kayong, huwag kayong medita. May effect na yun. May effect na yun sa mood mo. Oo, may effect na yun sa mood mo. Kung mag release mo na yung depression and anxiety na meron ka. Medyo nabawasan siya. Correct. So, Ayan, yun. so that's, that's exercise. Anong number two natin, Miss Leonard? Ten. Meditation. Ayan. So, actually, may 18 types of meditation, guys. So, you can go ahead to Google kung ano man yung mga pwedeng, pwedeng para sa inyo. And they have this, uh, what's called this, um, process on how to practice it. Um, I personally have the silence and the sound meditation. Um, yung silence is talagang pure silence lang. I just lay my back and then meditate on one good thought, then hanggang sa ma- mawala yung negative vibes na meron. I'm just going to repeat that thought inside my head. Kunwari, I am thinking I'm very, very rich. So, yun, yun yung minameditate ko. Namayang. Sana all. Oo, oh, di ba? Sana all. <laughs> so, hanggang sa ini-imagine ko na siya, how am I being rich, ano yung ginagawa ko, hanggang sa nawala na yung thinking kong iba. Then we have the sound. Um, I don't know if you have seen some people na nag-yoga and then they have this bowl na sinasound. Yes. Ng sound. That's yes. also one uh, one type of meditation. So, mm-hmm. meditation kasi it is a habitual process of training your mind to focus and redirect your thoughts sa isang bagay lang. So, make sure na yung iisipin mo lang that time is the happy thoughts or something that makes you really happy when you do the Sorry. meditation. Kasi mamaya, sabi mo, sige, mag-meditate ako. Iniisip mo, paano ko babayaran yung penel ko? Exactly. <laughs> diba? Negativity pa rin. <laughs> so, pagka inisip mo yun, mag, ano yun, magkakabit-kabit na yan. Mm-hmm. Magsasama-sama na yan. And puro negative na may isip. So, start and focus on just what makes you happy na kailangan mo isipin. So, the benefit nito, it controls the pain in your body. Kung, hindi niya mawawala, ha? Hindi siya magic. Control lang. So, medyo babawasan yung intensity ng pain. 
Tapos, it also decreases the blood pressure. So, hindi ka, kung high blood ka, this is a good one to practice. Improves your sleep, enhances your self-awareness. Siyempre, mas nakakakonek ka sa organs mo, sa body mo when you do the meditation. And also, it controls the anxiety, reduces stress. And yun, lalo na tayo, yung mga nakamedrol, prednisone, cortisone, lahat na may zone na corticosteroids. Ayan, sabi ni Sam or Star Shan, sabi niya, I use Urban Yoga app. So, super good for meditation and it's free with a lots of options. Either sound, my instructions or chants. You can choose din for focus, relax, sleep, happy, etc. Ayan, guys. Yes. Thank you so much for bringing this Thank up, Thank you Sam. so much. Maraming app tayo sa mga phone, sa ating App Store at Google Play Store na libre na pwede niyong i-download anytime. Um, mukha siyang madali sa simula guys pero pag talagang pinalo nyo yung flow um, depende din kasi sa level sa, sa level natin may beginner, intermediate and expert kumbaga pero yung mga yoga apps try nyo as in I myself can attest na sobrang helpful yan guys I do yoga twice a week the rest is um, plyometrics and hip and weights pero yung yoga pag nag-yoga ako guys talagang parang Naka-zen mode lang ako. Parang whatever negative is happening around me, bahala kayo dyan. Zen mode lang. Oo. Ganoon. Yeah. Tapos yun, for sound, there are so many ano holistic approach sa YouTube uh, that mm-hmm. they can actually check. They can do the sound at home. So, yung yung, ano, guys, yung raindrops, raindrops ba? Yung mga ganyan? Oo. Yeah. Can you consider that? Mm-mm. Pwede yun. Pwede lang gamitin yun as a meditation sound. Mm-mm. Again, there are 18 types of meditation kasi and just have to, I know, uh, maybe siguro we can do a discussion of that in solo for meditation talaga. Yep. Comment yes Definitely. if you want that, guys. <laughs> uh, comment na lang po ng yes or mine. Char. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Oh. Ayan. Ayan. Guys, game na naman tayo. Question number game two. Again, the instruction. Answer in LSGPH underscore answer. So, let's have the question. Give us the name. Ayan. Give us the name Wait. of happy hormone and stress hormone. Kanina, sabi ko, guys, take note. So, cool uh-huh. na yun. May isa pa. Si happy hormone, diniscuss to dito sa five ways. Si stress mm-hmm. hormone, nabanggit natin yan kanina. Yes. Doon sa beginning part ng ating discussion. So, let's mm-hmm. see who gets the correct answer. Again, guys, answer nyo dapat is LSGPH underscore answers. So, dalawang hormone ang hinahanap natin. Si happy hormone... And si stress hormone. Si happy hormone, nakasulat siya kanina. Pero si stress hormone, nabanggit lang namin. Sige. Pero ilang beses siya hindi nang get then sa slide. Oo, ilang beses siya guys. Mm-mm. Dalawa po yung ta- dalawa po yung sagot natin. Opo, dalawa po. Dalawa po. Dalawa pong hormone. Bale, LSGPH, answer 1, answer 2. Kasi dalawa po yung sagot natin. Mm-hmm. Almost nice. there. No? Nakukuha siya doon sa gamot natin. Yung isang stress hormone. Mm-hmm. Doon sa miracle medicine. Nakukuha siya doon. Pero no-provide niya yung synthetic version nun. Okay. Pag hindi mo nakukuha, talaga, magbibigay ako ng clue. Oo. Sige. Sige. Can you, ah, sige, mag, ano, first letter C ng stress hormone? Letter C, as in cat. Ah, yan. So, LSGPH underscore answer number one, tapos answer number two. Letter C, Lawrence. Ayan, Lawrence. Lawrence, congrats. The answer Hi. is endorphin and cortisol. Lawrence, please message uh, Live Love and Hope. Just say a hi and I will give you the instruction on how to receive your care. Hey. Nakatuwa, guys. 
May isa pa. <laughs> may isa pa guys. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Okay? May isa Tatlo pa. To. So, isa, may isa pa tayo. So, let's move on with the next question. Ah, with the next question. With the next topic. Question agad. Miss Chow. Oh, excited, excited ako sa shirt eh. Kasi bilang di ako pa din sumali, <laughs> di ba? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, number three. <laughs> Express your thoughts. So, kanina, number one natin exercise. Number two is meditation. meditation. Number three, express your thoughts. Now, bakit nga ba importante na we express our thoughts? Guys, tandaan natin, the more that you suppress your thoughts, the more na nagiging burden siya sa atin emotionally, psychologically. Alam mo yung feeling na nag-iisa ka na nga lang, wala ka pang mag- mapagsabihan ng problema mo. Alam mo yung ganung feeling? So, parang ina-isolate kasi natin yung sarili natin sa mga bagay-bagay wherein pwede naman natin siyang i-express sa ibang tao. Pwede natin i-express yung mga nasa isip natin, yung nararamdaman natin. Now, we have two ways on how to express it. I mean, yung highly recommended natin is number one is orally express. So, find someone that you can talk to and would understand you. Examples, mga kaibigan natin, pamilya natin, katrabaho natin, or mga katulad natin na kapwa nating lupus patients. Tapos, pwede rin tayo mag-seek ng professional help sa mga psychologists or psychiatrists. And um, at times, it's also good na we practice self-examination. Alam mo yung tipong uupo ka lang sa loob ng kwarto mo, mag-isa ka. Kausapin mo yung sarili mo. Sharon, kamusta ka? Okay ka lang ba? It's not a crazy idea, guys. Ha? Don't feel na nababaliw kayo when you talk to yourself. Ako, I really talk to myself a lot. Like, lalo na pag work, sinasabi ko, Sharon, mali na naman yung ginawa mo. Dapat kasi siguro ito yung ginawa mo. Ako, my, my husband might find me crazy kasi parang yung asa ko, kinakausap niya yung sarili niya. Pero no, it's my way of, um, kumbaga, recovering na tinatrack ko ulit kung ano yung dapat na ginawa ko. And in that way, Nadi-release ko rin yung tension ko. Pero guys, alam ko yung iba sa inyo, ang dilema nyo is that yung pamilya nyo mismo ay hindi kayo maintindihan. Alam ko yung sinasabi nyo na nakikinig yung friends ko pero hindi naman talaga nila ako naiintindihan. Naalala nyo yung video ko last time na ano nga ba yun, yung mga reasons ko kung bakit I chose to be happier despite lupus. So, Sinabi ko doon, guys, na the people, these people, family, friends, colleagues, mga co-lupus patients, they will understand and love me the way I needed to be loved. But the way how I wanted to be loved and understand, hindi talaga nila magagawa yon. Kasi mag- magkaiba kasi yung need sa want. Ang kaya lang ibigay ng mga tao sa paligid natin is kung ano yung kailangan natin. Pero yung level na gusto natin, tayo lang ang makakapagbigay nun sa sarili natin. So, um, naintindihan ko minsan yung mga tao, yung pamilya natin, hindi talaga nila tayo magigets. Makikinig sila pero hindi talaga nila tayo magigets down to the very core. But you do not uh, discredit them. Yung help. Or, yeah. Oo, yung help. Do not discredit it. Kasi... Guys, hindi natin alam, mahirap din yun para sa kanila knowing na may sakit tayo. Kunyari, ako nanay, tapos nalaman ko yung anak ko may sakit. Masakit para sa akin yun na wala akong magawa para sa anak ko. Okay, nakikinig ako pero hindi ko maintindihan yung pain niya. Pero eto lang yung kaya kong gawin sa ngayon. Pero yung anak ko, feeling niya, hindi ko siya naiintindihan. But he doesn't know na nahihirapan ako kasi nag- naghihirap siya. So, kailangan nating i-acknowledge pa rin yun, guys. Ngayon, meron din talaga mga tao na hindi talaga tayo magigets. Yung talagang nire-reject tayo. Nangyayari yan, guys. Meron at meron yan. Ngayon, ang solution lang dyan is move on na lang, guys. Kasi the more that we stay sa stage na iniisip natin, nireject ako, nasaktan niya ako, hindi niya ako maintindihan. Every time that you think about that, mas lalo kang hinihila pababa. Mas lalo kang Mataas. nadadrown sa depression, tataas yung stress levels mo. Yeah. E di, iko pa rin yung talo. So, might as well move on. Ngayon, kung wala talagang sinong pwedeng makinig sa'yo, see a doctor, psychologist, psychiatrist. May mga professional helps tayo. And, um, 
yun. So, I- I'm pretty sure marami tayong resources, guys. As long as you have to be also open-minded na you have to acknowledge. Pag kailangan nyo na ng tulong, kailangan nyo na mag-express, do it. Okay? Do it. Don't don't be afraid to express yourself kasi kailangan natin yon. And number two is written express. So, eto. Eto gusto ko to. So, pag hindi talaga nyo kaya magsalita, like mahiyain kayo, okay. takot kayo, magsulat kayo. Um, Leonard and I, we have been both working as a freelance content writer. So, kami, nasa stress din kami. Gaya nyo, pare-pareho lang tayo. Nasa stress din kami. And Leonard, sa tagkakakilala ko sa kanya, the more na stress siya or if she's feeling something talaga na strong emotions, nagsusulat siya. Ako, ganun din. Kapag yung lalo na paggalit na galit ako, pero hindi ko siya pwedeng ilabas. Kasi I have to be mindful about the people around me. Sinusulat ko siya. At pag nagsusulat ako, gigil na gigil ako. So, dun ko nare-realize, ganito ako kagalit. Pero, instead na sumigaw ako, magwala ako, sinusulat ko siya. And then, at the end of that, kumbaga, diary entry, okay na ako. I feel better. Kasi pagkatapos ko siyang isulat, babasahin ko siya. So, kumbaga, parang ang nangyayari, binabasa ko yung sulat ng isang Sharon. So, pag nabasa ko siya, nagkakaroon ako ng, ng parang other side of me na yung tanggungan ko yung sarili ko na bakit ako magkaganon. So, mag-practice kayo guys, magsulat kayo. Isulat mo kayo, nararamdaman nyo. And malay nyo, sa mga sinusulat nyo, yung iba sa atin dito, makasulat ng kanta, makapagsulat ng poem, makapagsulat ng novel, makapagsulat ng kwento. So, hindi natin, hindi nyo alam guys kung ano yung pwedeng... Um, maging resulta nung pag-express nyo ng thoughts. Kasi ng- ngayon kasi inisip lang natin, puro problema. Hindi tayo nag-look beyond sa possibility. No, what if pag nagalit ako, <clears throat> sorry, nagalit ako, nagsulat ako ng, ng galit ko. And then later on, oh, naging kanta pala to. ba diba? So, think about all those possibilities. And again, do not be afraid to express yourself, okay? So, that's the most important thing. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm so makating na lamunan ko. So that's the most important thing that we have to always keep in mind. Huwag kayong matakot mag-express ng sarili nyo. So do you have any questions about number three guys? Or baka may gusto kayong i-share ng mga personal experiences ko kayo about this? Ako, meron. Char. Ano? Ano? Go, go. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> so yun, kasi um, I'm living with my stepdad, right? Tapos, I'm working, and of course, quarantine season, so medyo parang, this time you feel alone then, even though you have with someone. So, I also write, totoo yan, susulat ko siya, from my, to my blog, and also to this one, sa journal ko. Um, it helps a lot, kasi guys, it's therapeutic, for me ha, um, to susulat, kasi through writing, I can express myself more, and I hope you excuse my dogs, kasi may tingin Okay lang yun. Yun. Um, uh, so, when you write, isulad nyo doon. Ano yung naramdaman ninyo? Yung nag-isip ninyo? Yung pangarap ninyo? Yung dream ninyo? Tapos, ano ba yung mga anything na sa palagay nyo yung gusto nyo ilagay doon? Kasi, you have to bring out the elephant in your chest. Kasi, ako Indeed. talaga, ganun. Um, siguro, habang susulat pa ako, may iyak pa ako yan. Mm-hmm. So, ganun. You, 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 you can do whatever you want sa pagsusulat, whatever style, if you want to write poem, that's good. Do, do anything na pwedeng ikatawa ng pagsusulat nyo. True. Yun. Ayan. So, so okay, you guys, any two. experience you would like to share? If, ano, ako din kasi madalas, I go in a room na mag-isa. Then I talk to myself. Mm-hmm. Ganun. <laughs> I guess lahat naman tayo, we talk to ourselves Uh-oh. sometimes, di ba? Ayan si Marcela. Ako, nang away sa FB dati, hindi ako makontrol. Nag-post sa FB ngayon. Alam ko na, nakakontrol ko na. I, I can relate to that. Minsan patawala din ako. Alam mo yung magbabasa ka lang ng mga post, tapos may makita kang comment, makitrigger ka, patuloy ka rin. Ito yung happen. So, Marcela, relate na relate ako sa'yo dyan. Ayan si Sam. 
or Starshen. I have a psychiatrist. It helps a lot. He also told me to write either a diary or yung susulat ka tapos sunugin o punitin mo. That's that's correct. That's really therapeutic actually. It's a, it's a form of therapy. Para lang ma-release yung emotions. In-advise sa akin yan. Yes. So, usually talaga sa mga professional help, like psychiatrists, ganyan, yung pagsusulat tapos susunugin mo siya. Parang it, it, it's an act of casting it away. Ano siya, part talaga ng therapy. And when you feel like you need a professional help, wag kayo mahiya. Correct. Hindi masama magpa-psych. We all need that help. Thank you so much That's for true. saying you for that. that. Um, totoo. Totoo yan, guys. Kasi ngayon, sa atin kasi may ano tayo, may stigma tayo wherein pag sinabi mong psychiatrist, automatic inisip natin baliw. Baliw tayo. Pag sinabi mo kasi That's kasing, the stigma. Di ba? Pag, pag sinabi ko, uy, nag, magpapatingin ako psychiatrist, sasabihin sa'yo, bakit? Baliw ka ba? Ganun, ganun sila. It, it only goes to show na people lack... Um, Uh, education or understanding about the, the the use of having psychiatrist. Guys, mind you, even mga com- comedian, mga stand-up comedian, mga singer, celebrities, they all have psychiatrist. Even yung yung sina Francis Kong, sina um sina Chinkitan, yung mga yung mga kilalang tao na alam natin. Motivational natin, speakers. Yeah. Motivational speakers, they too, you know, take a break at least twice a year. They go to their psychiatrist or psychologist kasi kailangan din nilang i-keep yung sanity nila intact. It doesn't mean na mukha silang masayahin is, and mukha silang a good uh, source of motivation is okay sila. They don't need help. They also do. They also do, guys. Lahat tayo. Kaya, huwag kayong mahiya. If you feel na kailangan niyang magpatingin sa psychiatrist para lang may makausap, please go. Do not, do not hesitate, guys. Do it. Okay? So, so thank you again, uh, Star Shen or Sam, for for bringing that up. Yes, that's that, that's a really good point that you've shared there. Thank you so much. And then number four, ma'am, ano pong ating number four? Plan your days ahead. Ayan. So, I know sa atin, medyo mahirap mag-plan ahead because especially yung mga unpredictable uh, event ng ating katawan, eh, hindi natin makontrol. But then, getting on track dun sa mga dapat natin gawin, like, A simple checklist for the day. Um, on Monday, I have to to write a diary and then cook for someone and at this time of the day. So at least, pag nakita mo yun na on track ka, you will not feel pressured or cramming or being overloaded by this small task na ginagawa natin. Nalo na dun talagang staying at home na lang. And while others naman working, Actually, Sharon is very, ano eh, very organized to her schedule. I have seen her doing some online calendars pa when she's doing her uh, scheduling. So you can make use of those applications to remind you guys on what are the small things you need to do or bigger tasks that you need to do. And also, if you're planning your days ahead, make sure to have us, uh, ano, um, enough rest. Let's say, um, what day ngayon? Um, sa Sunday, Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say Tuesday meron kang event na atinan, wedding, let's say. Ngayon pa lang nagpapahinga ka na. Huwag ka nang gumawa ng heavy duty activities. Mag-rest ka na. Para pagdating ng Tuesday, marami ka ng ano, spoons na energy na pwede mong gamitin to enjoy the event. Diba? It's also what, kasi what I learned in Lucas, it's also about planning your your own energy. And dahil nga mabilis sila kumapagod like the others, yun, I make sure two days before the event, rested na ako. And kung ano man yung activity na dapat kong gawin, whether it's small or big, nakaplano, at least, kung, kahit, kung hindi ko man ma-meet on time, at least within the day. Correct. Ganon. At least hindi ako nag-cram or na-pressure. Kasi kapag pressured ka, stress ka, ayan, tataas na naman yung stress hormones mo. Diba? So, Totoo. Mahirap Totoo, yun. Yeah. And that will result again to your anxiety or to your depression. Mahalaga yung nakaplan tayo. Natawa ako sa comment ni Marcela Sanchez Venzon. Sabi niya, basta everyday makapag-tiktok ako, okay na. Okay na. Ayan. Tama. Tiktokers natin dito eh. <laughs> Ayan. So yes, tama yung sabi ni Miss Leonard na plan your day ahead para hindi tayo na, 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 natataranta. Kasi 
akala nyo yung, yung tarantana yan, simple lang yan. Hindi nyo alam yung nangyayari sa loob ng katawan nyo. It's increasing your stress hormones na hindi nyo nakikita, hindi nyo namamalayan. So, as much as possible, iwasan natin yung mga bagay-bagay na pwedeng magpa-stress sa atin. So, pag, kunyari ganyan, kunyari bukas, Monday, so may work ako umaga, may work din ako sa gabi. So, nakaplano na yun yung araw ko. Paano yung schedule ko sa pagpasok ko ng work ko, magbabreakfast ako, lunch, ganyan. Pagkatapos ng shift ko, papahinga, nag-go workout, maliligo, tapos tapos mag, magdi-dinner, tapos mag-work ulit, tapos matutulog, tapos repeat. Yung may, may pattern na akong nagawa, may routine na talaga akong pinafollow on weekdays, ganun. It, 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 it really helps me para hindi mataranta. Kasi ako talaga, pag nataranta ako, wala. Nervous breakdown. Just yesterday, actually, yesterday, there was a lapse sa schedule ko. Yung dental checkup ko, akala ko bukas, Monday. Tapos, nalaman ko, kahapon pala, Saturday. Nalaman ko yon gabi ng Friday. So, alam ni Leonard na nag-panic ako. I was like having panic attack. Like, yung puso ko talagang lalabas sa dibdib ko kasi hindi ako prepared. Nag-panic talaga ako. Yung, ang dami kong kapraningan kahapon, si Leonard, saka yung isang friend ko, pinaflag ko sila sa, sa messenger. Sabi ko, <laughs> asin ang dami kong pinagsasabi kasi nagpa-panic ako. Leonard knows exactly how I panic. So, so yeah. ewan pala, nagmukha akong kat- katatawanan kahapon. But then, ganun ang nangyari sa akin. Pag hindi ko siya na plano, pag mali, pag na-miss out ko siya sa pagpaplano ko ng araw ko, chaos. Chaos ang nangyayari. Nasa stress ako. So, kaya after ng procedure ko, pag-uwi ko ng bahay, natulog lang ako. Ganun. So, so, Le- so Leonard here is one of the most lucky people to have seen Sharon panic yesterday. <laughs> But so, guys, she's yeah. alive. She's <laughs> alive. alive. She's so happy yes. to be alive. <laughs> so, yan. So, para i- iwasan lang natin, guys, yung stress, okay? So, happy lang tayo dapat. So, number five, Miss uh, Leonard. Anong next natin? Ayan. So, sa so last part na tayo. Dun, 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 dun. Let go of the negative. Ayan, so, guys. Yeah. W- walang, walang, ano, walang deeper explanation dito. Natotoo lang. Just as what mm. it says, let go. Let go of negativity. Let it yeah, go. Always, let it go. Always choose the positivity. Um, eliminate all of the negative things, negative people, negative mm. emotions, and mm. negative na thoughts. Pwede na amoy ninyo kasi mm. somehow our smell is related to some memories. So kung minaamoy ka na negative for your thoughts na nagiging nostalgic ka tungkol sa isang bagay na negative, uh, ab- avoid mo na yun. Mm-mm. Tapos True. kung may panlasa ka rin na para negative din yung binabalik sa'yo, avoid din. Ganon. Ganon okay. lang. Isa, anything. Any, anything. And learn anything to say no. Talaga. Yeah, yan, 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 yan. Yan ang pinaka-importante, guys. Example say dyan, no. Example. Hindi kaya. Example natin dyan is sa work. Okay, work setup lang, work setup. Alam alam nyo naman kung ano yung dapat sa hindi na pinapagawa sa inyo. Kami kami ni Leonard, mga ano kami, uh, professional freelancers kami. So, we offer our skills, professional skills to clients online. So, minsan, habang nagkatrabaho kasi kami, yung mga clients namin, may mga pinapagawa sa amin na hindi dapat sakop ng role namin. Pero, kami, may times talaga na, o oh, sige na nga, gawin na lang natin, kawawa naman, tulong na lang natin. However, minsan kasi na- naaabuso. So, akala nila okay lang. So, ang gagawin nila, may at maya, buhos sila ng buhos ng trabaho sa amin ni Leonard na hindi talaga dapat na trabaho namin. So, yun yung perfect scenario wherein we should learn how to say no. Okay, when you say no, it doesn't mean mayabang ka. When you say no, it doesn't mean natamad ka. It's just that you know and you have the right to define the line between what should be done and what should not be done. Kung ang role mo ay project manager ka, alam mo kung ano ang role ng project manager. Pero yung pinapagwa sa'yo is role ng CEO. Tingin mo dapat mong gawin yun? At it, it, it will require skills na hindi sakop ng project manager. Pero pipilitin nila na gawin mo kakayanin mo ba yon? Tingin mo dapat mong gawin yon? Siyempre, since hindi ka prepared for that role, masa-stress ka. Anong gagawin ko? Saan ako magsimula? Paano to? That's stress coming in. ba? Diba? 
So, kung sasabihin mo lang, I'm sorry, um, with all due respect, I don't think that this is something that I am capable of doing at this point because this is my role and this is just, this is the area of my expertise. I don't think that I'm capable of com- completing that project. If you know how to say that, if you know how to say no, then hayahay ka sa weekend. Wala kang problema. Wala kang iisipin. And yung mga taong, mga chismosa mong kapitbahay, kung gusto makipagchismisan sa'yo tungkol sa mga kapitbahay mong nananahimik naman or yung tipong unnecessary na chismis, you're not to say no. Oo, oh, 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 yan. I- i-report namin kayo. Joke. <laughs> De, joke lang, guys. Pero, hindi. Y- y- yun yung mga local examples natin. Yung mga chismisang unnecessary. Kasi, yeah. Tsaka sa bahay. <clears throat> oh, sa bahay. Let's say. Learn, learn how to say no na lang. Ganun na like lang. Like me, uh, mag-isa ako, di ba? Sama si Daddy. And there are so, kasi sa bahay, ang daming gawain, di ba? Mm-mm. So, minsan parang gusto mong matapos lahat. But you have to say no to yourself as well. Correct. Na, ano ba? Hindi mo na kaya yan. No. You rest. Uh, you go to your bed. Higa. Correct. Pwede ipagpabukas yan. Yan. Ha? Ganun. True. So, yun. Yun yung mga simpleng bagay na pwede inom mo na. And then, if someone is telling you na utusan, may utusan ka ni nanay mo, mare, but you really don't feel good. You have to explain lang naman. Mama, I'm mm-hmm. not feeling well. I cannot Oo. do it. Ay, oh, huwag pala so, kasi stress yun. Correct, stress yun. At saka, doon, doon nila iisipin na, tinatamad ka lang, ganyan, ganyan. So, as, as, long, as, as long as you express it naman in in a respectful oh. way, di ba, in a polite way, maintindihan nila yon. Lalo na sa atin. Kasi nga, di ba, mabilis tayo madrain, mabilis, hmm. mabilis tayo mapagod. Unti lang yung, kumbaga, yung kaya nating tiisin sa pang-araw-araw natin. So, just be expressive nga. Just tell them, me, pasensya, napagod talaga ako. Pwedeng si ganito na lang. Pwedeng si kuya na lang, Nay, bibili ng suka. Ganyan. So, nagalit so, si kuya. Char. So, nagalit si kuya. O, oh, diba? De, basta, just learn how to say no. Know yeah. when to say no. Yun. Understand when to say no. Okay? So, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. Exercise. Meditate. And then... Yes, go ahead. Express Senate. yourself. Express yourself. And then, the let go of negativity. And then, the number four, shock sa dulo ng dila ko. Plan your days. Yeah. Yeah. I was Rain thinking fog. organized. I was thinking organized. So, I'm getting the wrong terms. Okay. So, yan guys, that's a perfect example of brain fog brought to you by Sharon. By Sharon and Leonard. <laughs> Sharon and Leonard. Ayan. Ay, ayan. Si, Lo, si Lawrence, may sinasabi si Lawrence dito. Aside sa role at position, yung salary din hindi match dun sa task na binibigay. Ayan. Exactly. That's that's actually one of the, ano din man. Exactly. One of the reasons, yeah. diba? Uh, ako, I have, gra- sabi ni Majo, ako po, I have gratitude journal. Kahit simple things lang per day. Ah, eto. That's right. Uh, Oo. There is actually some people using a jar. Mm-hmm. Tapos, pinupuno nila yun ng good memory, good thoughts every day. Tapos, yep. at the end of the year, binubukas sila siya. Tapos, Correct. you know, alala lang nila. Which, that's actually very good. I tried that and nasa Manila ako. Pero, pero hindi ko natapos yung buong taon kasi later na ako nagsimula. But still, it's something that brings back joy to your uh, True. to yourself. Mm-hmm. Totoo. So, parang somehow, pahabang binabasa mo siya, di ba? Andun yung feeling of nostalgia. Parang, oh, yeah. no, ito yung time na ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Oh, diba? So guys, try nyo rin yun. Check out yung mga, yung mga fun uh, therapeutic um, practices. Marami dyan, marami dyan, guys. If, if you're really not into expressing yourself orally, like yung magsalita talaga, then don't push it. Try something else. Write or maybe express your thoughts through arts, through music. That's right. Yan, That's marami right. tayong ano, marami tayong iba't ibang paraan, guys. Okay? So, what's our next thing? I think it's the t-shirt again. Um, Tama ba? Let's see. Ah. Ah, hindi pa. Aha, okay. Excited kasi talaga ako. <laughs> yeah. So, ayan lang. Sabi niya, healing comes from letting there be room for all this to happen. Room for grief, for relief, for misery, for joy. So, yun. Everything that's happening to, ha- to us has a room for itself. So it's up to us which room to open and to close for the meantime or permanently close. So oh, yeah. for us to have a clean clean mindset, 
what are the things that we need to close we have to be aware of that and then ako for for me guys uh, i would love to permanently open the door for for joy so why not diba always happiness every day diba ato misha yes i i totally agree with you if if there's one thing that we have to always keep open maliban sa open minded <laughs> yung opportunity to feel and enjoy joy yon kasi guys tandaan niyo sa lahat ng bagay sa lahat ng sitwasyon meron kang option lagi kang may option lagi kang may choice lagi kang may pagpipilian ngayon napansin niyo ba kung may problema kayo syempre pag pinag-isipan niyo yung problema niyo marami kayong possibilities na naiisip pero ang dest ang destination nyo, magdidepende yan sa kung ano magiging desisyon nyo. ba? Diba? So, tandaan nyo, nasa sa inyo kung paano nyo gusto tumakbo yung buhay nyo. Okay? Hindi sa kamay ko, hindi kay Leonard, hindi sa mga doktor nyo, hindi sa ibang tao, kundi nasa sa kamay ninyo. Okay? So, you always have the option to choose what you think is right and what you think will not bring you that unwanted stress. Okay? Kunyari, blinash kayo online. O, oh, kung pikon kayo, papatola kayo sa comment, taawain nyo. How dare you talk to me like that? Blah, blah, blah. You don't know me. Ganon, ganon kung gusto nyo ng stress. Pero, kung ayaw nyo ng stress, gusto nyo zen mode lang kayo, dead man nyo na lang. Kung alam nyo naman yeah. sa sarili nyo na hindi totoo, dead ma. Block ninyo, Instead, zen mode. Oh, block ninyo, report nyo sa Facebook or report nyo sa NBI Cybercrime. Ganon, huwag nyo nang patulan mm-hmm. online. Kasi mas stressful yun, guys. Or otherwise, just dead ma. Bahala kayo kasi magda-die out nyo. Bahala kayo, hindi naman ako celebrity. Bahala ako dyan. So, ang pinapoint on ko lang, guys, lagi kayo may option. May pagpipilian kayo, okay? So, keep an open mind to recognize kung ano yung options nyo and always think, stress ba ako dito? Yes or no? Yun lang lagi. Okay? So, yeah, wala. G- ganun lang naman. It's very basic, guys. Alam ko, madali siyang sabihin, mahirap gawin. Pero it will take a lot of practice. And sa paulit-ulit na pagpa-practice nyo, you'll definitely be good at it eventually. Okay? That's right. So, let's move. Is it Tanya? Um, Ang cute ng teddy bear na yan. Yeah. Okay. Announcement, guys. You have announcement siya. I don't have any announcement as of today. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and post it um, online pag meron ako. Sorry guys, medyo Sunday mode kasi talaga yung utak ko ngayon sabi ko sa inyo. Eh. Organized ako basta pag Sunday. Wala. Just it's me, myself, and I. Ganyan, ganyan lang. Chill lang ako pag Sunday. But I think yeah. we still have one more shirt. Tama ba? Yeah, we still have. Okay, have okay. Announcement one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Sorry. Okay guys, uh, there will be a support virtual support group this is just a free uh i think two sessions um just to bring ano at least 30 people na magshare sa isa uh i guess i put the link already sa page if i don't have it there i will pin it back so you can join the group so ang um, kuha natin doon may parents my patient Tapos, meron newly diagnosed din. So, we will be sharing. It will be a fun, fun activity kasi meron siya sa Zoom. We will do some activities there so you can get to know other patients as well. So, yun. The session will be on August. But then, um, I've been collecting the list of trainees na for that. And then, uh, our episode 3 for season 1 sa body shaming and chronic illness um, will come on this Tuesday. So, the guest for that is no other than no truly yours, Sharon. Ayun na ba yun? Yeah. <laughs> Ikaw okay. na yun. Okay. Uh-huh. So, ayun. So, sana, sana. Hindi niya, lang, hindi niya alam, guys. Surprise! Sabi ko sa inyo, guys, sabaw talaga ako. Basta weekends, wala. Naka-shutdown talaga yung utak uh, pag-weekend na lang. So, yun, guys. Medyo na late siya for uh, so Tuesday na siya ilalabas. Mm-hmm. There are so many things going on at the moment and I have to prioritize my health for that. And then, sure. yun lang. The t-shirt is still available for those who would like to avail. 
nasa page din yung price and how you can amend it. And then the link for those who will be the re- recipient of the donations on December will be ano, announced soon. Yan. Yan lang. So, any additional? Wala na ba? Naiwan ba May tayo? mga questions pa ba kayo, guys? Yeah, yeah. Let's do Ay. the question and answer. Ano daw? What time daw sa Tuesday? Sabi ni Jing Lokyao? 10 po. 10 ng gabi. Ayan, 10 p.m. Yes. So, yun. The other episodes are in our page. So, you can visit them kung hindi nyo pa napanood. Just watch the first and second episode so you can catch up with the third episode. And then, our last episode will be on the 30th of the month. Yes. Okay. Any questions? Okay. I don't think na may mga questions pa. So, maybe we can do the last shirt na... Grabe guys, yeah, sorry, na excited na lang ako sa t-shirt. Siguro kasi alam ko hindi ako oh, pwede sumagot. <laughs> Ayan. Shirt. Yeah. Last question na guys. So, pabilisan na. Ayan. All right. What do so, you call the mm-hmm. habitual process of training your mind to focus and redirect your thoughts? Again, the instruction answer in LSGPH underscore, underscore. answer. Uh-huh. Guys, ang dali niyan. Promise. It's one of the ways how you cleanse your mind, guys. Bibigay ko anong number ba? <laughs> ang dali niyo, guys. So, again, the format is LSGPH G-H underscore answer. answer. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, um, six, mm, five, four. Guys, keep on trying. Three. Guys, ulitin ko ang question, ha? It is the habitual, habitual. process of Marika, training I, your mind. Only one Yan. shirt for one. Only one shirt for one. <laughs> Give chance Oo to nga, One shirt per <laughs> head. <laughs> Next time, magpapaload naman ako. Load. Sige. <laughs> <laughs> bilang di tayo pwede mag guys ngayon, binanggit kasi... niyo yung sagot pero yeah, kasi meron na siya na panalunan earlier I'm sorry Sean but we have to give others um, chances ayan Joanne Abansena ah uh, wrong answer <laughs> follow the instruction guys <laughs> guys we have a format may format Joanne. Sige, habang nag May kulang lang sa sagot mo. Again, guys, the format is LSGPH underscore answer. Answer. Sige, baka gusto niyo ng in- intermission number muna habang tayo nag-aantay ng tamang kasagutan. <laughs> Pinukuha ko lahat ng shirt. <laughs> Siguro, siguro ano niya, i-model niya yan. Okay, Jing. Jing Lokyao. Jing Lokyao. Ayan. Got the answer correctly. Okay, Jing, congratulations. So that God. is uh, Sam, Jing, and Lawrence. Lawrence. Ba yun? Or Lawrence. Lawrence, yes. Lawrence, yes. Ayan. Sayon so guys. Sayon yung may Joanne, kulang na i-answer niya. Oo nga. So Para guys, underscore. um, sorry, sa mga winners guys, please don't forget to message Live Love and Hope para ma-process po ni Miss Leonard ang inyong mga prizes. Tapos, huwag kayo mag guys. Sa mga hindi na ako ngayon, we will definitely think of another giveaway next time. Okay, so... Hindi kayo daw ng pera si Michelle. Char. <laughs> Uy, grabe. Baka maniwala sila. <laughs> At hindi, hindi pang sap ang ino-offer natin, ha? Isa rin po akong dukha. Char. Huwag so, kayong... ACQ na lang day. daw. <laughs> Magpa- magpapaload na lang tayo since di tayo pa na magpamigay ng GC bilang saradong mga mall. Oo nga. Diba? 
Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate it. I-, I know it's Sunday. Alam ko, pahingang day to. And again, happy Father's Day pala sa mga tatay na nandito, sa mga fathers niya po, sa mga moms na nagiging tatay din sa kanilang mga anak. So, really appreciate your time, guys. Um, I- Basta for now, um, I hope that may natutunan kayo sa presentation namin today. And I also would like to thank Miss Leonard for preparing this material for us today, guys. She has been so diligent in um, coming up uh, with this materials. So, ang sipag niya mag-research, guys. So, sobrang, ano, sobrang hands down ako kay, ano, kay Miss Leonard. Follow the Leonard. live love and hope for more, guys. Yes, guys. Please follow her page. Uh, live love and hope also on IG at live love and hope underscore yeah. yeah tapos yeah just stay tuned for our next um live sessions kung may mga gusto kayong topics na pwedeng pag-usapan guys mag-comment kayo or i-message nyo sa amin mag-inbox kayo sa amin okay kasi gusto rin naming ma-cover yung mga topics na gusto nyong mapag-usapan hindi lang yung pwede natin pag-usapan kundi ano pa yung mga gusto nyong pag-usapan kung gusto nyo mga personal things like Um, how to handle relationship while battling lupus, yung mga ganyan. Yeah, I, I receive a lot of that, guys. <laughs> so, yung mga ganyan, guys, kung gusto niyong pag-usapan. We will look for na, relationship gurus that, uh, that will help us. Yeah. So, feel free lang. Feel free to let us know. So, Miss Leonard, any last or parting, parting words? <laughs> yung lang. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, more contents are about to come and yep. after July there will be a new topic as well so stay tuned for that Ayun. Um, excited ako guys kasi there are so many things that we can discuss and also um, yeah Sharon is very supportive just for for the group lang with the support the Philippines she's very ready utuin ko lang siya o siya kailangan ko mag-present ng ganito oh, yun na go <laughs> So, yeah. Pero as, so, as much as possible, guys, we, we would want to provide you all the help that we can provide. And again, we are also open sa mga taong gusto rin mag-contribute. Please huwag kayong mahiya, okay? We are all in this together. So, let's, let, let's help each other, okay? Yep. And thank you so much for watching and listening yeah. to us today. And we're signing off, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Signing off now. Enjoy your weekend. Happy Father's Day! Bye-bye.